Hey friends and welcome to Cooking with Missa G. Today we are making Golden Graham S'mores Bars. Mmm, <laughs> those sound yummy. Oh, but first, we all know what Mrs. G's kitchen rules are. Always wash your hands before touching any foods. Second, always have someone in the kitchen with you, an adult or an older brother or sister, someone who would be safe for you. Next and last and most important, never ever take any kind of nut product to school. Why? Because some of our friends at school might get very sick from having nuts and we don't want that. I say this because in Mrs. G's kitchen, when we're online, we're allowed to make things that can that have nuts in it, like we did in our last cooking class, right? So, that being said, always be safe. No nuts at school. All right, are you ready to get started? Let's wash our hands. Nice warm water. Let's sing the happy birthday song. And so, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. All right, let's give them a good ring. Dry them off. Once again, we're going to be making something that is just based on the stove and it's not going in the oven. Yay! So, what do you think we need to make golden graham s'more squares? Hmm. What does every s'more need? Chocolate, graham crackers, and marshmallows. However, we're not using graham crackers today. Instead, we're going to use golden graham cereal. It is so yummy. Would you like one? Go ahead. Have one. This is G2. So yummy. It's my favorite cereal. I never eat it unless I make stuff like this. So let's turn on our stove to medium high heat, which has already started. That way, and a nice big pot to go there um, because everything is going to go in there and melt together just like we did our Rice Krispie Squares. Okay, friends? So let's put our big pot on the stove and we are going to need five cups of mini marshmallows. If you don't have mini marshmallows like this, you can use probably about seven cups of large. Would probably be pretty close to that maybe, maybe not. But try your best to use mini marshmallows until I figure out the recipe on which is the best equivalent for the big ones, all right? So we're gonna put in, oh, first let's use margarine or butter. Okay guys, so we need a tablespoon because we want this to melt before we put in our chocolate chips and our, our uh, <laughs> sorry, and our marshmallows, okay? So we're gonna do five. Ready to count with me? One, two, I'm a little bit tired. I decided to do a video in the evening. Next, let's count out five cups. One cup. Two cups. Three cups. Four cups, 
five cups. Yes, there's still some marshmallows left over, which we're going to use after all of our mixture. Now, next, we need some chocolate chips. Mmm. I think Mr. G stole some of my marshmallows. Mr. G. All right. We need two cups. Well, actually, we only need one and a half cup, but you know, Miss G always it ends up putting in extra chocolate. So, so two cups. All right, friends. And we also need this corn syrup. If you don't have corn syrup at home, you can use two tablespoons of water in here with a quarter cup of sugar and it'll all melt down and get you what you need. But since we have this, we're gonna pour this in. Corn syrup looks like maple syrup that you use for pancakes, hey? But this one is really good for baking and making things because it helps make things very sticky and stick together. Ooh, come take a look, friends. Our mixture is melting. Not like your regular, not like how you normally make s'mores on a, on a campfire or something, but look at that. It's all gonna taste the same. Wow, actually I think these will be ta much tastier. So we're gonna melt this down, just like we did when we made Rice Krispie Squares, till it's all melted. I know Mrs. G loves to make things with chocolate, right? Who doesn't like chocolate? If you don't like chocolate, I'm sorry to hear that. All right. We're just going to stir it and stir it until it's all melted. See that, friends? Not too much left of the chocolate chips and the marshmallows left. They're gonna form a nice gooey warm batter for us to add our cereal to. While this is doing that, I'm gonna get my pan ready. I'm just gonna use my Tupperware container and give it a little spray with the pan spray just so it doesn't stick to it too much. Just lightly though. Check this out again and see. Remember, this is the part where an adult is supposed to help you. Does that look like gooey, gooey, ooey? Just numminess right there? It sure does. It smells like it too. I would like to give you, let you have a stir at this, but you can't because it's too warm over here. When we mix our cereal and our marshmallows in with it, that's when you're allowed to give it a stir, okay? So you just gotta be patient and wait, please. Oh, it's almost ready. See that, friends? Our marshmallows and our chocolate, and our margarine and corn syrup have made a nice thick batter. So next, what we're gonna do is get our cereal we are going to count out seven cups. So count with me, friends. One, two, three, four, five, What comes after six? Seven, good job guys. Seven. We're gonna give it a stir. Mrs. G turned off the stove because I don't want the chocolate batter to, to burn, but I want it to stay warm so it keeps melting. 
Come take a look what's happening now. When you stir this around, our chocolate melted mixture is coating all the cereal. Mmm. It just looks like sloppy, gooey s'mores now. And next, what Mrs. G is going to do is take another cup or whatever I have left in here, but it should be a cup of marshmallows and just pour in. But we're not going to melt them. We're just going to stir them in quick so that they just stay like that. Now our pan is going to be hot, so be very careful with it. This is where the adult comes in. We're going to take it over to our container and we're going to pour it all in. Now maybe, friends, this is where you can help, but don't touch with your fingers because it's going to be very warm. Mm, look at those marshmallows. They melted a little bit, but they're going to stay a little bit hard in there. We're going to press this down into the container so it forms little spars. Try to get it as even as you can. Oh my gosh, friends, this looks so delicious. I bet you can't wait to try it, hey? All right. Now, while this is sitting in here, it is going to stay. And because of the chocolate and the marshmallows and the corn syrup, what's going to happen is it's going to harden and make it so that we can cut it when it's nice and cool and then we can eat them. But for now, we have to let them cool off enough so that they harden and set. All right, friends, I'm gonna just do that. Mm, don't they look delicious? Sure do. All right, friends, well, that sits. That will conclude cooking with us Mrs. G today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to hearing what you think of it. So until next time, I bid you all a good day and I miss you. Next time we will be making, hmm, let's see, maybe we'll make cookie, edible cookie dough bars. That sounds delicious too, doesn't it? All right, friends. Be safe. Bye for now.